Vermont. Now, this is one of my favorite stories. So I know Vermont pretty well. Vermont is a very liberal state. Ben and Jerry territory. Bernie Sanders is their senator. Okay? Leahy, another senator. Crazy left. Did you know that Vermont is ranked number two with the least restrictive gun laws? Number two. Okay? The first most restrictive is Mississippi. So, Vermont, you can carry any gun, any time. You don't need a license. You don't need anything. So you cross over from New York State, which, of course, the Supreme Court just slapped down because they wouldn't let anybody carry a gun for any reason. That's overstating it, but very few. You cross the border, because New York borders Vermont, you can carry a gun into church, whatever you want. Okay, so how is... Remember, when the Supreme Court slapped down the New York State gun law, all the crazy lefties went, oh, now there's going to be mass murder. Ah, blah, blah. Remember? Remember? Of course you do. You know how many uh, murders there were last year in Vermont? Nine. Nine. It was the second lowest number to New Hampshire of murders in the entire union. Nine. And everybody can carry. So that just destroys the progressive argument that, oh, the law-abiding citizens carrying guns, you're going to, oh, I got to shoot them. No. It's the criminals who commit the crimes, the gun violence, and the loons. And like we saw in Norway over the weekend, loon goes in and kills two or whatever and shoots down all these. That's Norway. You'll never stop that, but it's less than 1% of the murders in the USA. The, the stats are fuzzy here, but it's no more than 2.5%, and most people say less than 1%. So I wanted to bring you the Vermont thing that proves my point. The law-abiding people aren't committing murders. It's crazy.